Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to figure your gable studs and then I'll talk about how to um, cut your gable studs. So the first thing you want to know is how do you cut your gable studs? Okay, there's three different methods for cutting the gable studs. The first one is the three and a half inch side. You cut a mite around there and you're going to use the slope of the roof. So if the, the slope of the roof is a 10-12, then you cut that on a 10-12 and it would fit just like that. Okay, you can do it on either side. Okay, so that's the three and a half inch side. Now you can do it on the one and a half inch side also. So it'll cut with a, a bevel on this end of the board. Okay, now what angle do you cut the bevel at? Well, you have to convert your 10-12 into degrees so if you have a framing square, it's pretty easy. You just put it on the 10-12 and then read how many degrees it is. So like a 10-12 would be 40 degrees. So then you would set your saw blade at 40 degrees to cut that bevel on, on the end of this board right here. Okay, and it would fit in there the same way as this one would, except it's only inch and a half compared to three and a half. The third method is the one that's a little bit harder. You have the three and a half inch side and you see where they make the notch in there. So it's this, but then they leave this other part running up past the, so it sticks up behind the rafter, okay? And the reason they do that is so that they can nail it from the back side of this into the rafter. Whereas this one you have to toenail and this one you have to toenail. Okay, where these are, you can reversible, you put one on either side, these have to be cut differently for each side because this piece has to go behind the rafter, so you have to reverse the, the cuts on one side compared to the other, whereas these two, you can make the same cuts. Okay, so those are the three different types. Now, how do you lay them out? The first thing is to find the center. I like to go from the center. Because then if I go in either direction, then these two rafters would be the same. And then the next two would be the same. So I find the center of the structure. It should be right below the peak. Comes right down here. And then I measure over 16 inches on each side. Now, like I said, these two rafters will be the same length. And then I measure 16 more, and then these two would be the same length, and so on until you get down here and you run out of space. Okay, now, in order to find the lengths of these, all you have to do is measure the first one. So let's say the first one is um, it's 94 inches to the, uh, the bottom of the peak right here down to here. Okay, that's from the center. So you're measuring from the center. So that's 94 inches. So let's say the next one down is um, 87 inches. Okay, so what you're going to do, so this one's 94 and this one's 87. So what you're going to do is then subtract these two numbers. So 94 minus that is 7 inches. Okay, now that is what they call the common difference. Now to find the next length one, I would take the 87 minus 7, so the next one would be 80 inches. So that one right there would be 80 inches. Then I would subtract 7 inches and I get 73 inches, so the next one over would be 73 inches, and then you just keep subtracting until you got, so there's no space left. Okay, so it's really simple to, to nail these in here. Um, find their lengths. You only have to measure the first two. You don't have to keep measuring over and over again. So if you're, you're the cut man, you say, okay, I find the difference between the first two, and then I keep subtracting it, and it'll, it should work out if you've cut them, if you measure the first two accurately. It's very important to measure the first two very accurately, okay, before you, otherwise it'll throw you off on these other ones. All right, so find the common difference, and then you nail them up there. Now, if you're, some people find it difficult to nail an edge of a board to an edge of a board because you only got an inch and a half to nail to. So 
Um, what I like to do is I'll nail a board in between the two rafters. I'll nail it down to whether this is the top cord or a ceiling joist or whatever's running across there so that I have more to nail to and it, the bottom won't slide. And it's easy at the top, you just push it up against the rafter and nail it through the rafter. But on the bottom, it likes to slide on you. So it's easy if you put a little spacer block in there and then nail them down with the spacer block. Now, you can leave the spacer block in there or just make one spacer block and just move it as you go along. It doesn't hurt to leave it in there. It's not going to hurt anything. So if you got some scraps or you want to put spacer blocks in between all of them, you can do that. Okay? So that's the way to find the length of your all of your gable studs and the different types of gable studs and how to lay them out. Okay?